Yeah, I got a show for y'all. Got a damn good show. Y'all see um, a lot of these Walmarts in, like, Chicago area, they're, they're pulling out. They so said they can't turn a profit. Yeah, man. Because it's, it's too much theft. Yeah. Like, back when... Too uh, much theft. Too much vandalism. Too much crime. What's the point of having a business? It's too much theft. Too much crime. Yeah. Too much vandalism. Too many Negroes. <laughs> I mean, if you had a business and this was going on, you'd be like, you know what? Can't turn a profit. Hey, Keith. I got to go. Hey, Keith. I got to go. I'm up in the biz, right? Hey, what's the what's the demographics of this area here? What's the what's the breakdown? What? 80% Negro? <laughs> Find me another spot. <laughs> Oh, the spot I want, this is the, 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 the this is demographics, right? 60% white. No, 70% white. That's too high. No, no. I'm, I'm oh, not, okay, meet me halfway, 65% white. 67% white. Deal. 67% white. Yeah. 5% black. Wait a minute. 13% Latino. That's what, 70, 73? Wait a minute. That leave me what? Want to say more? Oh, you throw some ten percent Asian. Yeah. All right, we get the point, Kevin. Five percent. What's another race of people? Native American. Two percent black. Give or take a couple here and there. <clears throat> now, if this is conservative, area, conservative, area, I let the Negro population be around ten percent. Anyway, so we've all seen the news reports how Walmart pulled out of Chicago and said it's too much crime and too much shoplifting. And and I remember during the George Floyd riots, they went in there and started a fire in the store. Mm -hmm. And then the sprinkler system went off. They they flooded the store. That's Target one. I think it was Walmart. Walmart. It was Walmart. Mm -hmm. And then they begged to say, look, look, we was just mad, y'all. We need the store here. We need something to eat. <laughs> Walmart said, okay. okay we'll, give you, we'll give you Negroes another chance. Game another chance. People in that shoplifting, people getting shot outside the store. These white man said, you know what? It's over. <laughs> we out of here. I'm going to go colonize some other place. I'm going to go colonize a white area. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right? But the reason why I bring that up, I'm not sure where this video, I'm about to show you where, where it happened. But it's a black person that cutting up. One of them Negroes. K-N-E-E-G-R-O-W. Negro. Check out this video. She jiggling all over the place. <laughs> People many things racist than pants is racist. Look at the Latinos. Look how everybody just looking. Let me see if one last one from the front. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> that white cop, man. Today my last day. <laughs> yeah, make All right, turn sure it off. Turn that nigga off. <laughs> Man, that is crazy. She gets moving around and everything's just moving like it's like a water bed. Now you take you took it too far on that. You you know what? You need some chill. Some things you don't have to say. Everybody can say. No, I had to say it. No, you didn't have to say it. Like a damn water bed on the ground screaming it's racist. 
Now, if that cop just went up to you and did that to you and you was just trying to buy you a soft drink, bag of chips, and he just went up to his, hey, I know you're stealing something. Get on the ground. <laughs> then, okay, he's racist. Hey, but what did he call the cops on the phone? She was in that shoplifting, supposedly. Shoplifting? It's going to the store, man. Wait a minute now. This shop. might be racist. <laughs> Did we do our research man. on this? Hey, Kelvin, every time you heard that story, the boy who oh, cried. Man, you got to dot no, your no, eyes. No. Everybody you got to dot your eyes and cross your T's with these Negroes. <laughs> Kel, everybody's heard the story, the boy who cried wolf. Kelvin cried wolf. Wolf is a wolf going. He's going to eat me. They call her worse wolf. Oh, <laughs> he ain't no wolf. Two weeks go by. Hey, help. Help a wolf. He's, he's chewing my nuts off. Where, where, where? Oh, 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 I was just joking again. <laughs> Pete, black people pull this race card too often. Yeah, I know. Chances that this incident is racist is zero because white people ain't trying to get portrayed as racist these days. I know. It's a cop here. That's true, man. Probably working, probably close to his getting his retirement, more, his pension. More often than not, white people will, bend, will bow down because they don't want to be called a racist. Yeah, look how nice he's acting. Back in the day, he'd have like, he'd have lit them ribs up. He'd have lit them ribs up. He'd have soft, he wouldn't have lit them, he'd have softened up your ribs. He'd be like, oh, 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 he here. Put the cuffs on. He has been nice. Everybody looking, got the cameras out. That's why black people get a bad rap, man. <clears throat> you know that? Of course it is. Yeah, it's black people like that, man. It makes it hard for us. Like I used See, to, we good black folk. We good people. But these Negroes <laughs> makes it hard for us. I because when people see this, look, look at them. Look. Hey, son, look. Uh, yeah. Look at the Negroes. Son. Look at them. Look at that. That's why they ain't got nothing. It's just human nature. Like, what happened on September 11th? Everybody looked at the, those type of people differently. Especially when you're getting on a plane blank. Yeah. It's human nature. It's like when I had this job catching shoplifters. We used to catch shoplifters for a living. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I worked in an area that was no black people. That was it was all Hispanic. It was in Southern California, right? Yeah, yeah. Remember? Yeah. It was in Santa Ana. Yeah. So there's a Negro coming at. Guess what he doing? I ain't seen one all week. <laughs> soon as he walk in the store, he looking crazy. <laughs> Eyes big as shit. And he looking at everybody and he looking at everybody sideways. He, like ain't, he, ain't he look, won't look at you directly, be like this, <laughs> looking at you, like he playing it off. Yeah, he ain't looking at none of the clothes. He's looking at all the cameras. I mean, there's that's a reason why we have that stereotype around black people. Yeah. Because there's a lot of black people out there doing yes. detrimental, reprehensible stuff. Some people say this is stereotypical because people like us, we make jokes about black people. Like, like it's our fault people are seen. In a bad light. No, behavior is what establishes stereotypes. Behavior. That's beautiful. Not racist kid. jokes. Yeah. Behavior. That's beautiful, man. Say it again. Say it. Say it real loud so all the Negroes in the back can hear you. What I say? Come on now. Like stereotypes exist for a reason. Stereotypes don't exist because of racist jokes and just racist beliefs from, from people. Yeah. Stereotypes exist because of behavior. Because of behavior. Yeah. That's how. That's what establishes that. The only way you change that stereotype is behavior. Change the behavior. Change the behavior. The stereotype, slowly but surely, fades away, like it never happened. But that stereotype ain't fading away. It's getting stronger. It's like <laughs> it's metastasizing. It's just spreading everywhere. Everybody just yeah. like when I try to get a job in Hollywood as an actor, they always portrayed me as a damn criminal. They had me, gave me uh, stereotypical names, yeah. had me doing stereotypical stuff, robbing people. <laughs> Didn't you notice that? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I see, you know what? I'm tired of getting all these typical role, stereotypical roles of black people. Yeah. But they, there, there's a reason why white people. <laughs> that event, people, all those people, yeah. you know, that, shut up. That's a traumatizing event for everybody involved. That event that happened, all those people there, look at them. That's a black person. Hey, let me say something. And that, that, let me say man, something. What up? Let me say something. There's there are stereotypes for white people. Yeah. There's stereotypes for gay people. Yeah. There are stereotypes for black people. Stereotypes for Latino people. Stereotypes for Asian people. You know why? Stereotypes for white people. I already said that. You know why we have stereotypes? Why? 
Because it's true. Because it's behavior. Mm-hmm. Stereotypes are not actually racist unless someone portray you in a bad light due to a bad stereotype, like you being a thug or criminal. You know? I just want to bet this is enough. I can't be in Chicago. It's too many. It's not enough of them in there. Hey, we got a new giveaway going. Probably Latino area. Oh, that's all. I saw, it was a good, probably, it's probably just a good area. I saw two Negroes in there. Yeah. I, the rest of them was Latino. I saw two white people, all of them Latino. So I'm thinking it's like a Latino area. Whatever. Got a new giveaway going. We're giving away a Ford Bronco. It was a show truck in this uh, Las Vegas show. It's got 35,000 upgrades, and it's been lifted. It's not raised. Yeah. And this truck has sentimental value. A January 6th or was arrested in this truck by Joe Biden's FBI, our good friend Nathan Hughes. Yeah, he's a damn patriot. He, was running, he runs the contest for us, him and his friends. Yeah. He was testing out the truck, and what, what happened? Biden's FBI arrested him for just being there January 6th. We only hire and work with true patriots. Yeah, go to You're official. not a patriot? You can't affiliate with us. Go to officialhawkstwins.com. Anything you buy from the site gets you automatically. You need to win the truck, $10,000 in cash. Yeah.